you starting to feel like you guys can't stop anybody? I mean, as far as the defense has been a struggle just the last few days. Um, I'm certainly not feeling like that. I, I feel that that we can stop these our opponents, but we just have to. Everybody has to play their position correctly, you know, and and on every play, you know, it can't be some plays you play it correctly and some plays you cannot. You have to play correctly every play, and then therefore we can stop our opponents. Is that what it is? This was most of the time, for the most part. You um, when there there are large plays, like when they make when our opponent makes big plays, it's mostly um people you know not doing what they're supposed to do, and uh, it's not like we're getting outran, out beat, out out you know physical. We're, we're, we're a physical team. We can match up with the team that we play. It's just that, you know, sometimes they catch us off guard, and uh, they, 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 um, they, they make those plays that you know that, that shouldn't be made, but they they do. Coach Barlow implemented this new defense to make it easier on you guys to do more more physical, less thinking. Is it just a question of where you're not able to? Are you guys still struggling trying to understand who does what? As far as the defense goes? I feel that we we don't struggle as far as what we have to do, but you know sometimes you're out there running, you get fatigued, you get tired, and then that one play you mess up. That's the one time the offense does what they're supposed to do, and they they just catch us when we're not looking. Joseph, when you do when you did get pressure on Christian, it seemed like he always escaped. Did, did you guys get frustrated at all? Um, it, it is frustrating not not getting the sack, you know, for the for everybody on defense. We got one sack, and that was from a corner. But I feel like the D line, we have to get sacks also. And when we when we don't get sacks, it is it is frustrating. Uh, we just have to work hard and try to get as most many sacks as we can. What's the confidence level like? Um, you know, I can't say for the rest of the team. But I know my confidence level is still pretty high, and uh, I'm I'm still ready to work and I'm still ready to go after it. But and I and I feel like the rest of our team, we're, we're we have a high confidence level, but. You know, it might not show, but I can tell when we get in the locker room before games, after games, that people are still up, up on their level, you know, and pretty confident in what they do. What did you like all those folks out there today? Excuse me? What did you like seeing all those folks out there today? Uh, it was real good. You know, a lot of people don't really come to many games out here. And, uh, you know, New Mexico State is, is, a, is a large game for us. And with, a lot of, with all the fans out there, you know, it, it gets you pumped up. You may, it makes you want to play harder. And uh, I think we did, but, you know, it's too bad we didn't win. You guys went through a lot this week, you know, even with Coach Locks and being fired and stuff like that. Do you think some of those things may have just, it was just hard, hard week? And you, on top of that, you all are students. You're going to classes, you're doing a lot of stuff. You got a lot going on. We do have a lot going on, and our coach just got fired, and we, we're also in school. But, um, you know, that's, that's the part of being a college student athlete. You know, if you want to play football, you, you also have to be a student. And to go to class and to manage class and football practice, you have to learn to do that. And I think, you know, we're doing pretty good at that.